ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the next evolution of Apex Quickfire. That is right, I am back, and this episode is called The Recovery. Now, before we get into the episode, I just want to say that this would not be possible without the love and the support of my wife, Mama Swamp, as she bought me a PlayStation 4 for my birthday. She knew that I wanted to get into the competitive scene of another game, and she went out of her way to do this, and... You know what? I'm addicted to Apex and I had to get it back and I just started playing with this new season. I wanted to uh, kind of start fresh because I was getting a little frustrated last season. Now, before we get into anything else, don't forget to head over to my Twitter, drop a follow at ThinkSwamp, and as well as Twitch. Get to my Twitch channel, ladies and gentlemen, because I am pushing to get to affiliate which is 50 followers and I'm sitting at 39 at present so now let's get into it the recovery what is this what is the recovery well as you can tell two of my teammates have just been put down and I'm all by my lonesome a bloodhound main and frag now one thing you have to keep in mind when you're talking about like recovery operations because I'm a nice guy and I'll just like talk tail and like see ya there's times where I do that and I know I'm not gonna win because I can kinda judge the situation but one thing you wanna keep in mind when you are doing recovery operations are your movement uh, how many teams are in the area where are you on the map like if you are you wide open are there things you can climb on get behind um, you know get in and hide even there's nothing wrong with that especially if you wanna get your teammates back so now for me this was actually very, very, um, it worked in my favor because I baited a team into another team because we were engaging one team across frag and then another team came up behind us and, um, and, and popped my two teammates. So that was really good. It worked in my favor. And so as I ran and I ducked and I moved and I floated like a butterfly, just not stinging like that bee because I was all by my lonesome. Um, I wanted to make sure that my movement and where I was going was very unpredictable. A lot of the times I'll run along side cover, I won't get behind it because that's the obvious anticipation is either I'm going to sit still behind a truck, a rock, a building, or and come out the other end of like the other side of the of the said cover. So a lot of the times I leave cover as like the very very last. So recovery operations for your survivability is really key on a couple of things okay for one your movement where you are on the map how many teams are in the area and what are your open lanes to get to point A and B as quickly as possible I use a lot of double back uh, maneuvers in my play style so I'll, I'll run a certain way I'll dip to the left or the right and then I'll double back maybe hide and pause and then I'll go again to get away from opponents or other teams again if you're only being engaged by one team that's a little harder because they may just hunt you down and kill you and that's fine but if there's a couple of teams your actually chances of survival is really really high because now they're gonna be busy they won't care about you right just like they didn't care about me here I was able to pick up both teammates banners and get over to the closest like safe respawn beacon so keep those in mind some of the points that I've made um, here in the video if you need to rewind it go back a little bit scroll back and just go over that and practice that in your gameplay now with that being said something a little different to Apex Quickfire I've actually included some clips and we'll be doing this more so some plays that I've made some kind of highlights of of the of the I guess matches of the day type of thing for myself and I hope you enjoy it so if you haven't subscribed please subscribe and follow those channels that you saw in just in the previous uh, minutes and um, yeah this is Swamp Thing saying stay healthy stay safe say six feet apart with a 301 later everybody I just fucking Reloading. jumped off the...
Ten seconds, gotta move. Fire in the hole. Jump right out. The kill leader, mano y mano. Round six, beginning ring countdown. Nice! Let's go, baby!